Okay, so in this this video, we're going to be working with a circuit that has opposing voltages and it has some resistors in it. So I'm going to do this problem the easiest way I can think of, and I'm going to split it up into two parts in order to simplify it. The first part is I'm going to make one circuit with nothing but voltages. Um, so let me scroll down a bit so you can see what I'm talking about. If I could find my cursor, there you are. So as you notice, I have three power supplies here. And in order to deal with those, uh, I think, easier, I'm just going to ignore the resistors because they're not going to change the total voltage I have in this system. And here I have it from, a, this is a minus to plus, plus, minus, and plus, minus. And they're all connected in series. This is a 25 volt power supply, this is a 50 volt power supply, and a 75 volt power supply. Now, uh, when you're adding these, or again, you start at one corner and you, and you just go up. So this is going from negative to positive, so I'm considering that a positive 75 volts. Going to the next one, that's a negative to positive, so that's another plus 50 volts. And then I'm going up again, and this one's plus to negative. So since it's going from plus to minus, that is a negative. So I'm going to put that as a negative 25 volts. And I'm going to add those up. So adding those up, I get a total of 100 volts. Now, I, I made a, another video that discusses how you add these up. And, and if you have a kind of a, if you have a question about how to do that, just look at that and it explains it. And that should help you out. OK, so this is the, the, this is the first half where I just solve for the total voltage of the circuit, which the, the voltage of the circuit or the total voltage is equal to 100 volts. Now I'm going to just deal with the resistors. And so with the resistors, let's make another circuit. And in this circuit, uh, here it is. I have res one resistor, two resistor. This is R1, which is equal to, I think it was 10 ohms. And this is R2, which is equal to 90 ohms. And then since they're in series, you could just add them right up. So it's R1 plus R2, and that's equal to RT, the total resistance of the circuit. So that's just 10 ohms plus 90 ohms, which is equal to RT, which is equal to 100 ohms. So now, since I have the total resistance and the total voltage, I'm going to redraw my circuit like this. So here is the power supply that I have plus minus, this is my total voltage, which is equal to 100 volts. And I'm gonna connect it to my resistor, which is the total resistance of the circuit. RT, and that's equal to 100 ohms. And so now, since I wanted to solve for the current, or the total current in this supply, IT, that is equal to, so in order to solve for the current, you need uh, you need to know that the current is equal to the voltage, the total voltage, divided by the total resistance. So the total voltage is 100, ohm, or 100 volts, and the resistance is 100 ohms. So the total current of this system is equal to 1 amp. And that's how you would solve the circuit. And uh, you could do that for, for all your problems to, to simplify them. Uh, when you're just dealing with power supplies, I just deal with those. And what you'll notice is that in this power supply, yeah, it, oh no, it's getting choppy. Well, anyhow, when you're dealing with them, these resistors aren't going to change these power supplies at all. These power supplies are going to remain fixed. So this one's still going to be 25 volts. That's still going to be 50, and that's still going to be 75. But this one, since it's going or since it's opposing the other two voltages, it's going to lower the overall voltage of the circuit. So that's really that's that's a, a much easier way I think in order to solve this. So I would I would do it that way. Just split them up, deal with the voltages first, or deal with the resistances first, whichever you like. And after you combine them and simplify them, then you can just work it much 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 easier I think. So I hope that helped. Um, and. If you have any questions on how to add voltages, I, I made another video, so just uh, you can check that out and that should help you out. All right, so thanks for watching and uh, good luck in your classes.